Hello Internet, I'm Hamster Bomb, and uh, this is apparently the new trailer for Monster Hunter 6. I uh, decided not to watch the Video Clown Awards this year because, one, I, I already completely disagreed with um, all of their nominations, uh, almost all of their nominations. Some of them were just absolutely silly. And the show I have just been complaining about continuously for years, so I might even... Uh, you, you want to play with Pokemon cards? Sorry about that. Anyway, I am planning on just kind of ignoring it from here on out. I might even make a whole Hitbox episode just discussing, like, everything that is wrong with the Game Awards and why I don't think we should care. Anybody should care. It's just becoming an Oscars popularity contest. And not even a good one. Though, unfortunately, E3 has kind of died. And because of that, this is the big Western show to show off gaming stuff. And this is the stuff I don't want to miss. And to be completely honest, I was just scrolling through the list of the names of the announcements so that I wasn't, like, spoiled to actual trailers. I have not seen whatever this is going to be. Um, however, I, I can tell you now, just from scrolling through the names... I am much more interested in seeing the new trailer for Metaphor Refantasio. Much more interested in what Sega is doing. There was a lot of games they just announced of, like, old IPs. That's really exciting. And uh, a new mana game from Square. Like, that came out of left field. Here, Monster Hunter can be so hit or miss. If it does well, it does really well. And then when it does bad... Holy crap, it's Monster Hunter Rise, and Generations is almost that bad, but oh my god, Rise is horrible. So, like, I am really scared seeing anything that they do from here on, because I don't trust them. They're, they're almost like, imagine if um, Game Freak, after making Sword and Shield, like Legends Arceus, was actually really good. And it wasn't incomplete and kind of janky. And then they went right back to making Scarlet and Violet. Like, I, don't, I can't trust you. Like, <laughs> make, make up your mind. Are you going to be a worthwhile developer or not? Anyway, hopefully this is going to be the one for Monster Hunter. And, and, I should mention, uh, because this might happen. Uh, I want to make sure that I clear up one thing that I have been asking for Monster Hunter for years. I think ever since I've been playing uh, 3 Ultimate. I, I've been saying my ideal Monster Hunter game is one where we are, like, living with a small caravan, and we get abandoned somewhere in the middle of nowhere, giving us a, a reason, an incentive, to have to hunt a bunch of monsters to try and harvest gear that may, like, open the path forward for our caravan to try and get back to civilization, and also give you better stuff to take on other threats in the area. You know, like, if... Give, like, a narrative reason for why we have to do what we're doing and why it's so silly and grindy. And actually have some sort of stakes. Because every Monster Hunter game, you just go back to your hub town. And you willingly go out and start hunting another thing that should kill you. And, you know, that's the end of that. It's it's never been very deep. And I, I said this during my Rise review. Making a, a good story is not something that requires, like, a particular genre of game. It requires a particularly talented developer. It has nothing to do with the game itself. It's the people making it not having the ambition. So, I have my hopes up for this, but I'm not trying to raise them too much. Anyway, let's watch some Manster Honey. Uh, those are new little armadillers with birds on their back. Bringing back real endemic life. Those look like Kestodons. Alright. Bringing back riding little small things. Is that a stampede of some... Those look like Goss Harags. By the way, they're gonna play, um... Uh, Proof of a Hero later, and no matter what happens, it's gonna be amazing. Yes! Actual ecology! Oh my gosh, it's a, um... A sandstorm. Yeah. Yeah, let the monsters fight each other. Make the world feel believable, man. The thing can fly, too. Great. It's one of those generic open world, let me do anything creatures. What, did it just, like, fart the grass back into existence? What happened there? Yeah, it's the, the world logo. So... Wilds is uh, World 2 slash Monster Hunter 6. That's what I was open. Actually, there's kind of a 6 in there. You see it? 
There's Los. Always Los. I'm assuming they're going to show off whatever the cover monster is as well. Wait, that's it? Holy crap, that's it? Oh my gosh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, so there was still a lot in that. There was still a lot there. So, uh, I want to I wanna jump to here. Just like this moment. So, I'm assuming those things are all large monsters. Those things all chasing you at once in a large open environment? Yeah, it's cool, but like, what's the target of your quest are we eliminating quests altogether and it's like an open you know like i was saying exploration where you need to fight and like climb your way up the ranks because you had to or are we doing it because you know that's your next urgent quest is to deal with the stampede during the sandstorm i i would find it way more interesting if you know i wanted to run through this huge area on purpose because it would distract the large monsters behind me so that when the sandstorm hits you know, like what they were just doing. Like, give me a reason for wanting to do these things. Uh, otherwise, I, I feel like we're just going to be playing yet another generic open world. And some games work really well when they transition to open world and others just do not. Um, there was something else when the lightning struck, but I'm not quite sure what it was that I saw. Yeah, like some of the, the ground is um, a light too. I've got some issues with the traversal thing. Um, whatever this raptor flying thing is like I like the design of it don't get me wrong it's it's loads cooler than just running around on a dog but like I don't know I don't want him to be too helpful um, I'm glad that I didn't see any of the rise bull crap where you could just like run up walls you can you fly around with a wire bug they didn't show us much in this though I was expecting it to be bigger I probably should have looked and saw it was only a freaking minute long but yeah it's it still looks okay. Like, the reason I don't like these is because, like, uh, in a monster game especially, you want to feel like you are a single person. What are you doing with Shark? You want to feel like you're a single person out against, like, this huge, open, uh, feral environment that you do not belong in. And, yes, that's Shark. You feel like you're in this huge area where you don't belong in. And then, like, if you have the ability to just, like, you know, run and zoom around on basically, like, flying horseback, it kind of takes me out of it a bit. Just like a shark interrupting. Does shark have something to say? What do you think about Monster Hunter Wilds? No. No? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not discounting it yet. It definitely looks like it could be a big step forward from World. No boy. No boy. boy. Problem is, like, they, they showed us one area and no. very little in it. <laughs> All I know is, you know, we basically have this scarlet and violet generic thing that you're always going to be riding on. And when you ride on it that much, like, it loses all of its personality. It's like you don't see that it's there or appreciate it. If that was something like, like, uh, Chocobo that you had to, like, kind of grind for or work for out in the wild and, like, try to tame a wild one to run around and you kind of have to earn it, now it's cool. I like that. But if you just, like, snap your fingers, ring a bell, and the thing just poof shows up onto your butt and you ride around... I, I don't know. I don't really like that kind of stuff. Um, like, yeah, I get it's supposed to be fast travel for an open world, and you kind of need something like that, but I would rather the world not be giant and open for the sake of it being more compact and having, you know, much more to discover in a smaller environment. But I don't know. Who cares? What do you guys think about Monster Hunter Wild? I'm going to try and get the shot before everything got, uh, got kablooied here. One more thing that's kind of interesting is this weird rock formation. If you see that? I have absolutely no idea what that's about. There's another one here in the background. And then just large spikes sticking out of the ground. Um, what's really weird is they actually didn't show any, any returning monsters outside of Rathalos. Unless something that I saw was actually like a subspecies of something else that I knew. But as far as I can tell, it all looks brand new. And that's cool. I don't think this series needs to keep hanging on to every little thing that it's created in order to make like an authentic monster in our experience. So it might be better to start from scratch. Yeah, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my eye on it. Other than that, like I said, um, I think um, Sega and Square, you know, all the other, you know, uh, 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 Atlas, the other people are making stuff that was like really really cool. I was expecting a Monster Hunter trailer to drop. Yeah, that was kind of an underwhelming trailer to be completely honest. <laughs> but anyway, it happened. There it is. I did a reaction a thingy. Let me know how you feel about me not doing Game Rewards ones anymore, because honestly, like, <laughs> the show sucks. So, yeah.